In this video, we're going to analyze an inelastic collision by switching to the center of mass reference frame. In other words, the reference frame where we view the collision as we're running exactly as fast as the center of mass is moving from the original problem. And what we know about the center of mass frame comes from this little theorem of mechanics that the net momentum of a system is going to be equal to the total mass times the velocity of the center of mass. So to get the center of mass velocity, you just compute the net momentum of your system. We'll be doing that from the initial state here since we don't know the velocity in the final state. And an interesting thing about switching to the center of mass reference frame is that if you're running exactly as fast as the center of mass, then in that reference frame, the center of mass has zero velocity and therefore the momentum is zero. So we're going to verify that in this problem. Um, so first off, let's get the center of mass velocity, and if I get P net, that's 2 kilograms times 10 meters per second, and in that initial state, the 5 kilogram mass has no velocity, so there's the net momentum. This should be equal to the total mass, which is 7 kilograms, times the center of mass velocity. And I quickly solve for the center of mass velocity, and that turns out to be 2.86 meters per second. So as this two kilogram block is tracking along, it's dragging the center of mass along with it, moving at 2.86 meters per second. Okay, so now I want to shift everything into the center of mass reference frame. So I'm going to pop up a new picture real quick. And I'm imagining myself running alongside this whole scene at exactly 2.86 meters per second. And that makes it look like the rightward moving mass is moving slower, and it makes it look like the stationary mass is coming at me. So to get V1 initial in this new frame of reference, I would subtract 2.86 from 10, and that gives me 7.14 meters per second. And since I'm running towards a stationary object at 2.86 meters per second, from that perspective, I will see it coming at me at 2.86 meters per second. And I put the minus sign on there just to highlight what we've done to get these new velocities. In each case, we subtracted 2.86 meters per second to get into this reference frame. I should label this real quick as the center of mass frame. And back here, you could call it the stationary frame or the lab frame. All right, well, I already mentioned that if we're in the center of mass reference frame, supposedly the total momentum is supposed to come out to zero. So this is a good opportunity to just verify that. If I take that 2 kilograms and 7.14 meters per second, and then I tack on my leftward momentum of 5 kilograms, 2.86 meters per second, I just move the minus sign out in front. When I do the calculation, I get negative 0 0.02, which is just a little bit of rounding error. This is practically zero as it should be. And then I can finally get into solving the problem. I know the momentum is zero in the center of mass reference frame. I have two masses stuck together. How could they possibly have a momentum of zero? There's only one way to do it. They must be stationary in the center of mass reference frame. Now I convert back to the lab frame. We got into the center of mass frame by subtracting 2.86 meters per second. We're going to get back into the lab frame by adding 2.86 meters per second. So my V final is going to be the zero that I found in the center of mass frame plus 2.86 meters per second. In other words, these blocks are sliding along at 2.8 meters per second in the final state. And this agrees with the result we got when we analyzed the collision in, entirely in the stationary frame. 